for now. <clears throat> Recording in progress. Listen, you killed it too fast. I gotta fix that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> was, that, was that legitimately like, oh, you dealt with the hand pretty well, guys? Well, time to pop up the HP and. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I've been the DM who watched you one shot a monster and then just like added a zero <laughs> instead of Xing anything out. But <laughs> I may Sometimes have. Sometimes that's all you gotta do. <laughs> I I will admit to this. When it came to the Nidhog. After Bragg's first couple of attacks I went right, adding about 75 more HP. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we're doing this. All right, so where we left off, <laughs> having met up with Mimi in the hallways of the Temple of the Restful Lily, you all learned the true nature of this spa, a seemingly peaceful location, and decided to do something about it. You headed off into the back where the tower is located, uh, having seen a familiar face for one of you, entering in with one of the beautiful elves. You decided to intervene. And that elf showed her true form as a hag. Having defeated her, you sent your, your good old buddy back to the spa uh, after yelling at him. That won't end poorly at all. Out here. Um, and opened the, doors. <laughs> opened the doors where you found a very elderly looking individual trying to sweep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sent them on their way and entered the building. Sort of. Someone had plans to try and burn it. And that is where we left off. So. Do. Oh, yeah. I need to be in the book. Uh, BTT. Oops. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I've got to. And Kendall coming in clutch with that 31 fire damage. Yeah. You're welcome. That was fun. Do it again. <laughs> Burn this entire place down. I mean, if you ask so nicely, darling, dear dear, darling, <laughs> it's you know those um, it was so funny. There was a TikTok on like, so what is the one like sentence or phrase that you say to get into your character's mindset? And mine for Kindle is always, darling. <laughs> I have to say darling before anything and then immediately then I'm like oh darling oh, there she is <laughs> <laughs> alright um, we need to still be on this map okay so <clears throat> uh, you entered uh, the foyer that has a central spiral staircase leading up. The staircase is flanked by two closed doors, each one set in the middle of a stone wall. And you sent the dragonborn on her way. Yes. And then we covered the walls and furniture in oil slash alcohol. Okay. Well, Molotov. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you burning it now? We've already did that. I'm, I'm, 
I, I believe we already did that. Did you burn it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Mimi is actually going to say to you guys, um, I think we probably should like get some of the other people I saw walking around like out. Like not you. like it's, gathered yes. and not before we start killing any more ugly people. So I'm going to go and do that. And head back to the cube. <laughs> back to the spa. <clears throat> so anyway, I'm gonna go do that. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> again, scarily accurate. Mm -hmm. Because I know my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I know my sister. I know how she thinks. Therefore, I know Mimi and I know how she thinks. <laughs> Oh. You yeah, re-enter kind of <laughs> You re-enter the scorched room. Whatever was of the carpet is now completely gone. There's no decorations to the wall. The stone is just covered in soot. The doors are quite singed. It would be easily removed at this point. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the, t the tower seems relatively unharmed. Well, should I mean, we clear this floor? Uh, yeah. Go up to a door with Renji and make eye contact. One, two, three. Kick the door in. Which door are you hitting to kick in? Um, the one on the left uh, or the one on the right? Uh, we don't know what's behind there. So... Uh, we left? Right. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll do right first. Right. <clears throat> right start? Uh, yep. Literally um, roll the dice. <laughs> um, and yeah, on Ling's command, uh, Renji will just, like, uh, boostly just kick it. <clears throat> yep. Make a Double strength kicks. check. From both of us. I am, I am yep. also doing this. Um... <gasps> No. I will take that. Living strong, but dice bad. <laughs> Seven. Uh, it's fine. I rolled a twenty. I rolled a twenty-one. Nineteen on the on the die. You a go affected. to kick in the door, and there's that immediate lack of give initially. So you step back and do it again. And you could feel it cracking a little bit more. One last push, and you're able to get through that door. <clears throat> and you find a luxurious room with a large bed covered in silk sheets. A wardrobe and a dresser with a mirror stand against the walls. It um, is the mirror like on one of those like rotatory hinges, so it like angles, or is it fixed? It's fixed into the wall. Um, I'm just going to throw a dart at the mirror. Thank you. Okay. Just to shatter it. Just. They and mirrors. Bad combo. <laughs> Can I pop off with Detect Magic while we're going through this place? It's going to yeah. get eat one of my last two spell slots off. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to the, the party in character. <clears throat> I can do another detect magic, but it's going to waste half of what I have left. I would say last that, for 10 like, minutes, though. I would save that link, because okay. um, we may need something in, in a Later. pinch. Yeah, yeah. I would agree. Okay. Uh, Just keep an extra sharp, a sharp eye out. Yeah. Is, uh, may I do a perception check to see a, or investigation check to see if there's anything good in the room? Uh, you can. I still or need anything to of interest. Roll from Renji. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Oh. Uh, for the mirror. Uh, dot uh 16 
Sixteen's gonna hit. Yep. Roll your damage. It's a mirror. <laughs> Max damage eleven. Okay. Yeah, it shatters on impact. Seems like it was just a mirror. This time. <laughs> this this time. time. The player, in, the player in me knows better. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I, got a dirty 20 I for know better now. Um, what was that? Dirty twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The dirty twenty on your perception check. Yeah, investigation or perception is both safe. Okay, your perception check. You start looking, appearing around the room, um, and you will notice that the um bed does not look like it's made it looks like someone possibly recently got out of the bed um what was that oh i said that would make sense why they're bringing in a victim but why they didn't make it first doesn't make sense it also looks like the space is lived in oh um person we saved was a dragonborn, right? Do I see there was a dragonborn. Sense, yes. Sense of um reptilian things living in here. No. This is Shed quite, skin. the person who you met looked like a very <laughs> like fragile um dragonborn dressed like a servant, barely able to even hold the broom they were using to sweep. This is decked out in finery. This is lavish. And your perception check was a what? 30-20. 30-20? 19 plus one. You hear a slight shuffle from inside the wardrobe. Immediately turn to it and point. Uh, Randy's going to go to the wardrobe with the um, with his hand on the doorknob, ready to open. I take my axe, double-handed, so my shield is down. And Fire ready bolt, and attack. ready. <laughs> open. What do I, I see? Need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh! Ah! <sighs> All of us? Just just Renji, because Renji okay. was the one holding the oh. door. Even though I'm standing literally in front of it? The first the person who would be first in the row would actually be the one who would need to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm imagining Renji standing to the side, opening actually, the door. Me standing in front. Technically, yeah. it's not a saving throw. Technically, I need to know what your AC is. If you're the one who's standing in the front and Renji's off to the side opening the door, then you're the one who, who needs it to tell me your me. AC. So it would be 15 now because I'm double double fist in the axe. Yes, I know. Sorry. <laughs> My humor. <laughs> Helen. That's going to hit. Okay. That's going to hit. Still swinging. Um, you take... <clears throat> Oh, no wonder. Uh, 11 points of fire damage. Fire, okay. As a ray of flame out into the room and out of the cabinet steps safe the person who you met at the front desk dressed in his finery Mm -hmm. cat's eye pin on his lapel I, oh, I'm sorry so about this, but one. would they have had time to step out? Because I was ready in the attack for his, the moment that door opened. Well, the, they they hit you as soon as the door opened because they were also ready with an attack. So you would have mm-hmm. still like gotten hit. 
So you still yes. have a chance to swing, but he's literally just stepped out of the closet. That's all he's done. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and uh, what uh, what was it that they said? Oh, at this point, you're right, because Ling can swing right away. They won't ha necessarily have anything to say. Fair play, fair play. Okay, oh, okay, that's fucking good. Um, that's a 27 to hit? No, 25, sorry, it's plus 7. That's gonna hit. Ow, 25 shit. to hit, and shit. Um, 9 I'm plus also 13 you guys points on the map here. of damage. For the first swing. <laughs> Um, how much was the damage? Uh, 14. 13, sorry, 13. 13? Okay. Would I get, and would I get my second attack? Um, yep. Two attacks, one action? Okay. 18 to hit? Uh, 18 misses. Okay, okay. 18 misses? 18 misses. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. Oh, that, that would be my surprise. Uh, Renju steps out in front. Fire bolt. Held, I believe. Renju steps out in front. Oh, at this point, anyone who had a held attack can use it. Cause you're an initiative. Uh, so you're I didn't about to jump into initiative. Cool. I didn't. Um, I didn't have a um, a held attack. Mm -hmm. um, I did. <laughs> did I had a firebolt do? ready. Yep. Yeah. Second. <laughs> <laughs> the 25 to hit that's gonna hit that was a natural 19 on the die nine points of fire damage okay um Oh. Ling, is your weapon magical? No. It is my straight battle axe. I did not realize that. Do they resist that? So it's only seven points of damage? Uh -huh. Alright, hold on. So. Oh no, we didn't beat that hag as fast as we thought we did, did we? And you said it was nine points of damage? Fire damage? Four. Uh, 13. Uh, oh, sorry. So the sorry, fire sorry. Damage. Mine was nine. 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 We may have an interesting nine. one here, folks. All right. Roll initiative. I've got to put him on the map. As you <laughs> well. hit and strike at him, he's just smiling. Ah. 16 okay. for Linji. Uh, natural 20 for a 22. Nice. All right, hold on. Let me. God damn. 16 Please. for Renji? Yep. And 22 for Ling? Yes. Nine. Nine? What is, what is it with you in nines, Hannah? I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's probably because I'm German. I was going to say, it's a German heritage coming out. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and as he steps out of the closet, having getting struck a couple times repeatedly, just kind of cracks his neck and goes, Oh, so you are my guests. Fine. And you watch the appearance fade away and a cambion stands in front of you. Oh, what now? Oh, hell nah. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck off. Oh, 
Oh, we might be in trouble, guys. <laughs> Oh, we what in the fuck? We might be in trouble. What the fuck happened? Uh, did you bug out for a bit? Yes, like everyone froze, and then it like kicked me out of Zoom, and then like opened up the Zoom call again. I'm like, I've had that happen before. It's annoying. It's yeah, super annoying. Very. Um, did you hear uh, what um came? No, out of the I only got to the part where he cracks his neck and and it stopped. Um, the DM said a cambion um stepped out. A what now? He, he pulled his hands down and his appearance shifted. Bright red skin, small horns on the top of his head, still very well dressed, but you see that the nice outfit is hiding a set of armor underneath. Uh, Still wearing the cat's eye pin on the lapel. Right. Okay. And pins are fun. Uh, may I share screen to uh, show Hannah what we're up against here? Yes, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, I, ooh. That's what we're dealing with. Oh, shit. <laughs> It's a demon. It's a fiend. Ooh. It's a demon! Um, demon! <laughs> You'll need to share sound again, uh, Sarah. Ah. So, sorry, that's no. my bad. Be it's gone! Thought! <laughs> now, I want to preface this for anyone who decides to watch. That's not metagaming. That is just looking up a reference of what a cambion looks like. Who? If Lean does not know it's a fiend. All right, so top of the round. Give me one second. All right. I never ended up ordering my dinner that I wanted to. Oh no. Oh shit, dinner. That's a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> Sustenance. Uh, hmm. <laughs> technically, I haven't eaten breakfast, breakfast yet either. Ellen, I have. I just I haven't eaten it. <laughs> hey, I've had two two coffees though. That That's not a meal. <laughs> also, look at you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ask me. <laughs> Have you? Have I what? Eaten? Huh? Today? Have you eaten what? today? What? Huh? <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> I must have. And no, coffee does not count. Oh, I haven't had coffee. Nor does a Manhattan. I haven't had that either. <laughs> oh my god, you actually have to think. <laughs> now I put the bagel away. I'm just going to take this as a no. I had a milkshake. That's practically what this is. So we're on, we're on the same leg. <laughs> well, half of one because it was a leftover. There you go. Oh, I got McDonald's on the way now. All right. I'm sensing some judgment. Nah, no judgment. What are you talking about? 
Just sensing some judgment. <laughs> Alright, while, uh, while I wait for my turn, just go into the portal. Uh, okay, that was weird. Sorry, I just gotta put my... I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna put my payment information in and yeah. We now we can progress. actually start the fight. <laughs> All right, so top of the round is Ling. Oh boy. This thing is well. literally stepped out right in front of you out of the cat out of the closet. Oh, I came out of the closet. <gasps> <laughs> this bitch is gay. Good for them. <laughs> 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 uh, why did I have to yeah, grab my shield? Yeah. I used my action to put my shield back on. Um, I'll give that to you as a bonus action because that's always stupid. Thank you, much appreciated. Tech tech, <laughs> <laughs> or the tech tech. <laughs> Also, am I the only DM who feels that, like, getting up from prone should not be half of your movement? It should be 10 feet. It should be however long it takes you to move 10 feet, I think. I think it should just be 5 feet. I... I'm old and can't get off of a chair. So, to me, to get off of the floor takes 6 seconds. So, <laughs> but you were not, not a trained adventurer. He picks the full round. <laughs> I, I don't think I, I hit. <laughs> what did you roll? Uh, the most I got was a 17. That's not going to hit. No. You That's swing it. out towards, and he reaches into the closet and grabs a spear and just deflects, deflects. Oh, she. That's all I can do. Well, it actually would have still been in his hand, so he just did flex to flex. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually. Okay, yeah, where we are, um, Renji can still hit him, and so can Kindle. I was just gonna say, I could, I could move to flank. It's really hard to do on diagonals. Yeah, I would like to move to flank over there. I don't know if that moved on your side. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's it. Oh, okay. Maybe she's on the other side of him. Get advantage. <laughs> he smiles at you all and takes his Fear and jabs at Ling and then back towards Renji. Hey. I um does a twenty four hit you, Ling? My lord. And a 21, Renji? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, this is gonna suck. Uh, Ling, you take 8 points of piercing damage. Okay. Okay. Plus 1 point of fire damage. Mm. Renji, you take 7 points of piercing damage. And four points of fire damage. As Ow. the heat of off of the spear itself just seems to pierce into you. Okay. 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 Um. And he's going to. Step 
over here, only moving out of the range of one of you. So Did Ling we... has an opportunity attack. Hey, yo. Please hit. Please hit. Hit him. Hit him hard. That's a 25. 18 25 plus 7. Hits. Okay, and I'm smiting this motherfucker. Level 2. Yeah. And... Can you yeah, you can smite on an opportunity attack. I don't yes. know why I always ask that. You can smite on any attack you want. And <clears throat> since he is a fiend, I get an extra d8 uh, on the smite. Hey, oh. <laughs> Suck it. Get fucking wrecked. Right. <laughs> Yeah, 2d8, extra 1d8 for, okay, so that's, yeah, 4d8 plus, four. okay, yeah, yeah, and then plus 4, so 10, plus 24, would you guys like me to share the map? I've had issues with sharing when I try to, or because um, sometimes it then says that I've like, or it Zoom will crash on me if I try sharing sometimes. Honestly, um, just like a screenshot is good enough for me to get the layout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, that is 10 points of slashing damage and 24 points of radiant damage. Okay. The 10 is is not slashing. as effective as you would like. Mm-hmm. And how much radiant? 24. Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. a bitch. <laughs> second level. Yeah. That was my last second level. <laughs> Aren't you glad that you uh, didn't do that? <laughs> Did that magic right? right? Well, that's a first level. I still have two of those. Oh yeah, Ooh. he felt that one. You can see him kind of tuck back and and uh, snarl at the at the hit. He goes, oh, you're a problem, aren't you? Is that the? I was born a fucking problem, bitch. <laughs> and that is the end of his turn. That brings us to Renji. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I'm going to uh hit him with my short sword of wounding. Does a twenty hit. Twenty hits. Cool. Um Ten points of slashing, and he is wounded. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to roundhouse kick him. Does an 18 hit? Uh, 18 misses. 18 misses? Okay. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, and just so you're aware, my AC is now 21 until the start of my next turn. With Agile Parry. 81? 21. 21. 81 AC, that's just ridiculous. <clears throat> <laughs> I would be like, um, what? <laughs> what is happening? And they have an AC of 81. Excuse the fuck me? Uh, is that the end of your turn? Um. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do another kick as a bonus action. For your blows? Uh, no, just a singular kick. Okay. I don't have many key points left. 
Uh, 22 on that one. Wait, how are you doing a singular kick as a bonus action? If it's not Flurry of Blows? Um, I can do an unarmed attack as, as a bonus action, because Monk shit. Oh, I shit. thought you had to use Flurry of Blows to do that. No. No, that just gives you an extra attack. It, it just get... Um... You can either choose to do the few, uh, Flurry of Blows and spend a key point, or you could do one singular attack. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I can read the feet if you want. No, 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 you're good. Monks are the DPS. This is true. Oh, I love monk shit. Monk shit's fun. Oh, me too. Mm. <laughs> Actually, no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend a key point to put a stunning strike into this kick. Nice. Okay. Um, they have to make a con saving throw. Well, it has to hit first. Oh, uh, um. Oh, sorry. Uh, twenty-two. That hits. Hit. Um, con save, please. What is the? Number they gotta beat. DC is 15. Yeah, they beat it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay, so for the kick. Six points of bludgeoning. I'll be right back. My food is here. Okay. Alright. Fuck up. Anything else? No. Okay. Then when Kindle comes back, it will be Kindle's turn. Get into a, a flanking position. <laughs> um, I've got no room to flank because I'm basically next to a wall. I think I'm already flanking him anyway. Um, actually, what, what I will do, uh, actually, what I will do, I will move that way towards him. Okay. Uh, these little spaces, um, here, are those windows? What spaces? Um... Did you see my ping? Yeah, that is a... It's like a stained glass window from what it appears from what you see. Okay. Is that spot an open spot? Technically, but you'd have to scramble over the bed to get there. Oh, hmm. I see. Okay. Never mind. It would not have worked. I thought you could have slipped between there. <sighs> Uh, Kindle, you are actually are up. It my turn? It your turn. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> um. He is looking pretty hurt. Yeah, she's gonna rub salt in the wound. And cast magic missile. Yeah. Oh, sorry, not magic missile. Sorry, witch bolt. It's looking at the wrong thing. Still pretty good. Okay. Still pretty witch good. bolt at third level. Let's see if this. Pop works. off. Um. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. hits. E. Get in. That is three D twelve. Oh, every turn, immediately. Come on. Six dead. This could be interesting. Thirteen points of lightning damage on my action. Great job. Nice. Let me see what I got. Um... And as, as long as you maintain concentration, you can hit that every single turn as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what that means. Like, does that mean that I sacrifice a bonus action? What does that uh, necessarily mean? I just, I don't know. Uh, no, so um, every turn your action is basically, like, activating the Witch Bolt again. Mm. Um, as your action. Okay. It automatically takes that damage again, just as an action. You don't mm-hmm. have to, to try and yeah. hit him, he doesn't save, it's just... It just okay. Once you're connected, hit. it's just damage, will, damage, will, damage, will, damage. Yeah, I will... Yeah, that's all I will do for this round. It is not. You also need to roll me in d20. <sighs> oh, shit. Just a straight yeah. roll? Just a straight roll. Oh, yeah, that's right! Because <laughs> uh, Eight! You're okay. Okay! One of these days! One of these days! <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, you're gonna do a zinc and turn into a ficus. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, all right. If that's the end of your turn, we move up to the top of the round. Ling, it is your turn. Bonus action: channel divinity to return my second level spell slot. Run right up to him. Swing, swing. No. I miss. Swing and a miss. Okay. Just no, just no. It's not what a one, it? just real lows. Uh, 15 was the highest, okay, and then yeah. 10. Yeah. Neither of them hit then. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that all you would like to do with your round? That's all I can do. It is now... The Cambian's turn. Safe, looking between all of you, goes, Well, this could be problematic. I don't. Huh? <laughs> it's just, just minding. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stay here. Stop it. Um, also. Um, I'm rolling necrotic damage for the wound. Oh, yes. This turn. So, um, it says here, roll the damage. And then he froze. Yep. (laughs) Great timing. Roll the damage. Good to know. (laughs) He froze so beautifully. (laughs) That was perfect. Is he gonna come back? There he is. Oh, I, I'm I, back. Um, <laughs> we got roll the damage. Um, three points of necrotic. Okay. And now he can make a con save. Um, to see if he can get rid of that wound. Eleven. He fails. That's he's that's unusual. That's unexpected. I made as he's sitting here, he gives a side look to Kindle, who needs to make a wisdom save. <laughs> no. I just took a bite too. I'm so sorry. No, you're good. That was a natural one. So. Oh no. Oh no. Honey, no. Oh Kindle, no. <laughs> as he is slowly being descended upon by your friends. You hear, you feel this encrenching will over your own as he looks over to you and says, I could use some backup if you don't mind. Oh no. And starts to take off. Um, <laughs> it's the opportunity. Uh, yeah. Excuse the fuck me? <laughs> Fucking taking an opportunity attack on that one. 
I, I, I don't think he's leaving. I don't think he's leaving. I got a natural 20. Hold on. Okay. That one did not. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on. Come on, please. Natural 20. Holy fuck. Okay, what are what is your minimum damage length? I'm sorry, repeat that? What's your I, minimum I kinda... damage? My minimum? Uh with a with a battle axe? For your or just for your for your crit. What's your minimum for your crit? Uh, okay, um, hang on, what, did, what am I looking at here? I need to look at, okay, so that's five. Five for the axe plus however, three, eight. Okay, and Renji, what's your minimum? Uh, oh, shit, wait, no, crit, so, double is yeah, it's, it's what's your minimum critical damage? Twelve. Right now? Twelve. Uh, seven for mine because it's just one d six plus five for me. So if okay. I roll one, then it's two, then plus five. Right. So, how would you both like to do this? Yes. <laughs> You want to grab him, and I'll I'll do what I did uh, the other night to um, that one guard who we probably should not have done that to. Probably. Um... <clears throat> DM for flavor. Can this be uh, the damage die is the same? Can I use my chain dart to kind of like wrap it around his waist with the dart like sinking into his lower abdomen and pull him in? and Ling takes the final swing. So as you see him start to take off, you quickly wrap it around and it digs into his side right under the rib cage and pulls back as Ling is prepared and just cleaves into this creature. And it just falls bleeding to the ground. The Cambion is no oh, more yeah. Kindle. That oppressive need to defend this fiend recedes from your mind, and you are back to yourself just that quickly. I'm I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't catch him by the horns. Right, he had horns, right? Small ones. They do have horns. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and catch him by the horn. <laughs> Said slinks off. Sure, why not? Oh. So, with the Cambion defeated, we are officially out of combat. Uh, the head. wardrobe is open. His head is in your hands. He's actually probably would be partially sprawled out on the bed. The <laughs> silk sheets are a little stained now. Ah, oh, blood, blood on a silk sheet. That's a nightmare to get out. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit down next to him, next to his body. Flunk back. Hold his head. You know you're a pain in the ass. Neil! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Renji kind of like, yeah, with his... Renji with his uh, hand in his thighs kind of... buckles a little bit. Kindle, you good? You spaced out for a minute there. This motherfucker tried to get me to side with him. That was awful. Oh no, yeah, no. We can't be having that. I hope that never happens again. Oh, my goodness. I will be right back because my food is now here. So I'm going to pause this. Okay. Recording in progress. So. Hmm. Sorry. All of a sudden, I'm, my stomach was like, no, like I haven't even eaten yet. What the hell? It's sickened by the high sea. Uh, I guess. I don't know. High seas make you feel. All I had was like one french fry. All right. So. 
Uh, the Cambion dead. The sense of of uh, uh, battle has come to an end. What would you like to do? Check the body. Make an yeah. assist check. Is is that an assist, Kindle? Do Do you want to? Assist? Yes, I'll. I'll do you assist. want to do the investigation? Or okay, um, I'll assist you. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, well, hold on. What What is your investigation? One. I have a plus two. I'll roll with advantage if you give me help. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have to come out of the tower, else I cannot count you. Okay. Um, 19. 19? Yeah. Um, he's holding a very... He's holding a spear that you are able to take. Um, as you pull it away from him, it seems like the, the heating effect of it was actually more from him than the spear itself. It's just a, just a spear. Um, he's also wearing scale mail, if you're willing to try and peel that off. Maybe. Scale mail? No. Fun. And the... On the lapel is that cat's eye pin. Definitely want to like that. Yeah. What the heck you is that? You what? You definitely what? I would like to yoink that. Take steel. As you take it off, um, make a perception check. Okay. Would an arcana check work better for this? Nope. Okay. This is uh, just nine. to see if you notice as you pull it. Nine. I do not. Nine. Um, as you pull it off, there's a moment where you swear it blinks. Are you really going to look at it now, or are you, or are you just going to leave it at that? Right. Can I take a piece of cloth from somewhere around the room? Put put the blinky part down in into the cloth, and then make an arcana check on it. <laughs> sure. Twenty four. 24. Um, as you set it down on the cloth, you can see that it kind of shifts in its appearance, where it doesn't look like this brooch anymore, but now you're just looking at the back of it, so it's hard to see how it has shifted. But it's gotten darkened, it's gotten a little bit bigger. Hmm. But without flipping it, it's hard to see. I will let the group know with this information. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to flip it over. No, don't do it. No, no, I'm no, thinking no. it. I'm thinking maybe the hags could see out of it. <clears throat> Up it in case they could hear out of it. <laughs> Make a history check. Okay. Plus four. Uh, minus four is thirteen. Fourteen. 13. 13? Uh, you do vaguely recall that there is something that tends to be given to minions of hags that's called a hag eye. Like that name sticking out to you. Okay. Also let the group know this information. To say hag's eye, I think. Mm. No, fine. I that. think he was. If anyone, after hearing this term, wants to make an, a history check to see if they know what a hag eye is, sure. I think the hags give these to their minions. Eighteen, funnily enough. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Yeah, you definitely know that. Um. Hag Eye is given to their minions 
often for safekeeping and for transport. Um, they can use their action basically. So they it's a window like view into what is in front of this person. So they can look through the eye at points and and as long as it's on the same plane of existence that the hags are, they can see through it. Uh, definitely says to Ling, yeah, don't uncover that. It can be destroyed. Uh, very easily, actually. Um, Reggie. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it can be destroyed very easily, but you also know that if you saw it move, you've probably already been noticed, so yeah. you don't necessarily need to destroy it. Benji, would you mind grabbing the um, hole off my side there and grabbing my maul out? <laughs> I think a good smashy smash is in order. Not gonna lie, just out of pure spite of these eyes, I kind of just want to punch it until it cracks. Have at it. I put it on uh, the Cambian's chest, face down. I can add fire. It's ready and waiting. <laughs> can you hold his corpse up? I take the spear. Um, do you mind? And I shove it through his chest so he's lodged onto the bed. Onto the bed. <clears throat> How's that? Pops up. Um, as you said. So or, I'd like to what? point out that it was laying on the body. It's not pinned to the body. So as you sit the body up, it just kind of like up and falls onto his lap. <laughs> so it's face uh, up again. <laughs> I... I, I kind of pinned the guy to the bed as he was laying pinned there. the guy to the bed, right. And then Renji yes. was going to try and sit him up. Yeah, so I know. I was telling doing? that to Renji. Oh, okay. It's going to be hard to set him up. Um, <laughs> you said to hold him. <laughs> I said to hold him up. <laughs> I didn't hear up. <laughs> I just heard hold him. The, um... All right, you know what? This could be interesting. Um, as we already noticed, I'm gonna hold it, uh, looking at the eye. One inch punch. Well, a uh, uh, four inch punch, just straight through. Okay. Roll to Can hit. I just need to know if you beat it, AC. Eighteen. Yeah, you beat it, Stacey. It has one hit point. It shatters. <laughs> just before it does, it just goes. So hi, uh, we're shutting you down. Um, meet us outside if you're, um, you know, brave enough. Okay, bye. Make a perception check as you do that. Thanks. I'll take it. I do that. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Um, as you go right before you go to punch it, it looks like it shifted back into like that cat's eye look instead of the eye that you saw right before you hit it. Hmm. So I think that's not a short they, rest they, for that us. Whoever it was definitely saw you. Unfortunately not. Well, um... Well, that was fun. Yeah, let's not do it again, shall we? Let's not. Yeah. We still yeah, have two I'm, hags I'm to good. go. Mm -hmm. And I'm running real thin. So am I. So am I. I think this is just going to be a real fucker of a fight. Yep, 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 yep. Is yep, there yep, a yep. way we could rest? 
Well, probably not yourself. because of the address. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe if we weren't in their house. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And we have one more room on this level to go as well. I think it's up off the bed. The waddle sounded into the main room. Well, <laughs> might as well take this one down. Renji follows, Wait but does Renji. that. <laughs> <laughs> Renji follows, but does that. You know that, like, exasperated, just fed up toddler walk, just. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, the I've never, I've never kicked down a door, but I'd like to try if you let me. Oh, please, please. In, in <laughs> fact, have some guidance. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she could kick this motherfucker down if she can. <laughs> R- 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 Renji, Just to try. Renji and Mitch are so excited to see how this goes down. <laughs> it could go so horrible. am I. This could go either horribly wrong or amazingly well. So, Kendall, the one yep. who usually sits to the background throwing flames and other magical instruments, goes straight up to the door, first in I line. mean, she's she's got core strength. She used to be a dancer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's make got a, some strength. Make a, make a strength check. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh... Oh, not bad. That's a 12. Um, wait, well, how much was Guidance? Is that a d6? Uh, you get a, a d4. <clears throat> a d4. Yeah. Oh! Uh, a 16. Oh, yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you whack into the door. And it almost... Almost breaks the lock, but not ah. quite. <laughs> Your foot just just hits it, and you're like, mm, "This is sturdy. You can try again." I'd love to try again. Second time's the charm. <laughs> question, question. Mm. Could I have attempted to subtly throw my hammer in a way that makes it look like Kindle broke the door on the first try? Oh, don't pity me! (laughs) Do not pity me! I'm just trying to make you feel good, that's all. That's falsehood. No! (laughs) If I don't make it, I don't make it. That's fine. Like, (laughs) Yeah, definitely not. No, not the the second. Wow, that's sturdy. (laughs) Oh, well. This is why I burn things. And you do it so well. As you say that, you hear a click. And the door starts to slowly just... Just slightly creep creep open. I was gonna say she did. Like the latch was was not fully done. (laughs) She, She just goes... Well, I did that, but you know what I can do better? She does the like a like a back bend into a long split. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. <laughs> and thus move back five feet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, back bend and split. <laughs> all right. Um. Uh. Is there a crack through the door that I can look inside? It's just ever so barely cracked. You can look in. But where you peer in, there's not much to see. How's the light situation? You can see a glow coming from in, from the interior. Okay. Hey gonna open it sl- <sighs> looks at the rest of the group they know we're here I don't think stealthy is the approach anymore I don't think so subtlety is not our strong suit let's be it's, real it really is not 
It's your strong suit, but not ours. Who tries to go invisible again? Um, uh, oh. Subtlety is more my style, but not really. <sighs> subtlety is it, subtlety is an art. This is very true. This is very true. Probably why I haven't mastered it yet. Are we ready? As ready as I'll ever be. I'm heading. As the door opens the rest of the way, you see an oversized chair, heavy curtains covering the windows, and a large ornate wooden chest. And towards the center of the room, you see the familiar sun elf adorned in her armor. Don't be a mimic, don't be and a mimic. Green haired wood elf, white veil across her eyes, standing in the center of the room, looking in your direction. Well. This was quite an unexpected turn of the evening. Hello. We thought you were interested in our paintings, and yet instead you decided to kill my sister. Here we thought we were dealing with elves, not hags. She was quite the hag. Oh, I, 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 what's the word that you taught me? I can do fugly, is that it? Fugly, exactly. <laughs> does, does it does it run in the family? Ooh. It seems that you've taken a rather interesting approach towards getting what it is you desire. Is that not why you came here? You see, you know the problem with places like this. Well, two problems. First one is, you have some of our friends. That's order strike one. Second, when things are too good to be true, they normally are. I believe we have a misunderstanding here. We do not take anyone. Decisions are made. Sometimes Without their knowledge, decisions... you twist the truth. That's very rude. The bay are always big on loopholes. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just came here for a good time, and I turn into my big, vicious form. Oh, Vengeance is a real good time. Hmm. It can be, the other one says. I need you, Ling, yes. to make a wisdom save. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh no. Plus four is 16. <clears throat> 16. I want to say that's it. Yo, the suspense of the music is like kind of on point though. <laughs> <laughs> um a sixteen. Yes. Fails. I'm oh. sorry, people. <laughs> As I'm you're sorry, friends. <laughs> try to bring yourself up into this bigger form. Asking for revenge. And you hear, Oh, revenge can be plenty of fun. Let's Keep this small then, and you shrink down and pop into the size of a mouse. You have been oh, no! dwarfed. Oh. 
You've been polymorphed into a mouse. Roll for initiative! Oh, great. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Dear lord, my initiative <laughs> hates me. Find stats for mouse. <laughs> Plus, I think there's no stuff from mouse. It doesn't matter. It's a natural one. Oh no! <laughs> when you understood the assignment with the natural nineteen. Well, a rat doesn't have any stats. It just says an armor class of ten, a hit point of one. So, yep. unless you want to change that. <clears throat> That's what you got. All right. Hey. So, let me add these ladies to my combat tracker. Okay. Okay. Before I have to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do, since I'm at the very end, does, does Ling understand what has happened to them? Or are they now just, I'm a mouse? You're a mouse. You are a mouse. You have a low intelligence. You are a mouse. I I am you a mouse. You do not I like have... the big ladies. Nope. As a mouse, you and do not I... like the big ladies. And I, I don't know that I was something else. You... Okay. <clears throat> I mean, you have some of your faculties, but you're a mouse. Okay. It's so nice being a mouse. What? Well, but then, those, in this those big ladies on the <laughs> other side of the room, they make you mad. Uh, Ling, what is your initiative? It would just be a straight one. one? Na natural one. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Renji, what is your initiative? 24. Awesome. Kindle? Four. Amazing. Oh no. <laughs> when I said my initiative hates me, I mean that it. That is okay. One of the sisters rolled worse than you. Because I do that, I, I, whenever I add them, it automatically gives them their initiative. It rolls for them. Mm. And I don't understand. Oh, well, yeah, they, they roll real low. They roll real, real low. So. Renji, it is actually your turn. Um, okay. Okay. Not music back to... Um... Music. Okay. So it's 25 feet. I'm, I'm guessing the hag to the right on the map was the one in armor. The one with the red circle is the one in armor. Yeah. Um, we're just going to go to that one. Uh, hacking and slashing. Um, my full action will be slice, slice, and a kick. There's a dirty 20 hit on the first. Yes. And the second one that's cocked. There's a 19 hit. Yes. Okay. So D6 and a D8. Um Six points of uh, piercing from the short sword, so they are now wounded as well. And um, 13 points of slashing. Um, Give me one. Sec okay. So the first damage was... Or what's the total damage? Uh, total, uh, total damage is... On them. Six. Okay. 19 points of damage. Okay. I rolled minimum damage on my short sword and maximum damage on my katana. <laughs> uh, 
seems about right. Um, I just had to make sure I knew which hag was which. Yep. The <laughs> pick does a... I think that hits. It's an 18 on the die. 18 hits. And another 10 points of bludgeoning. Damn. Slash, slash, and just spin around house kick right to the face. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Anything else? That's one time. Okay. Next up is the blue hand. Actually, sorry. Wait. Um, can I do one last bit of movement? Yeah. I'm just going to pivot around to this side and flank the um, Sun Elf hag. Okay, I mean, that's not full flanking, but sure. I know what you're well, saying. Um, well, get into a flank, um, like, get into, like, a flanking position, but readied. Well, I'm, the reason I say it is because she's right next to the chair. So to be fully flanking, like Ling would have to be on the chair unless you move uh, around the back of her. Um, Because it's rogues who just need someone within five feet. Anyone else needs to be on opposite side. Then I'll do that. I'll, I'll get I'll get behind the hag. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sorry, Helen. I just saw your. Uh, it's okay. Message. It's okay. Nope. I, I figured that would be late. I had I had that idea late. <clears throat> That's just um. I usually have my phone down. All good. Mm. All good. All right. So if that's the end of your turn, it is now this hag's turn. This hag, um, laughing at little mousy Ling, turns the attention over to Kindle. <laughs> I forgot something actually. Um, there's another. There's another in the room. Because the one hag always had her ever loyal dog with her. Oh no! Dog. I don't think I brought Seldawa here! No, Seldawa was guarding the portal. So technically, that dog is next. The dog, oh, who looks like a giant mastiff, lunges forward towards actually would would come down over towards where Renji is uh, and as it charges its appearance shifts into that of a hellhound you want to say that with your whole chest <laughs> hellhound son of a well, I don't feel bad for kicking a dog in the nose. <laughs> uh, I was I, I was about to say, I was going to feel bad about, you know... 10, 15, 20, 30, 25, 40! You were going to feel bad about what? I was going to feel bad about, uh, like, you know, kicking a dog, but now not so much. Are you sure? You don't feel bad about that? This one? No. Nah, not at all. In fact, I take uh, absolute um, delight in it. Okay, so... It is going to first make a bite at you, Renji. And pack tactics, it has advantage. Does a 23 hit? Yes. Yes, it does. 
You take four points of piercing damage. Yep. Plus seven points of fire damage as its mouth is just hot and it sinks into your side. 11 total. 11 total. Guys, I'm, guys, guys. I'm, I'm below Ooh. half of my HP. Oh, this is not hard. good. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Where's Mimi when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, getting out all the civilians. Now it is the green hag's turn. She looks over towards Kindle. Fuck off, you spooky bitch. <laughs> and says, let's have fun. Dance for me. No! Take a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Wisdom save. Is not good. So this is the first tag in initiative, right? Yep. Okay. So Renji, Dog, Hag. Renji, Dog, Hag, Kindle, Hag, you. What did you get? A nine. Again. Freaking nine. I don't know. <laughs> you feel this power rush over you as it, Otto's irresistible dance takes mm. over and you just vibe in your face. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, she has been made to dance before. She does not like this. <laughs> I'm not even getting paid. This is bullshit. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and that's rude, you didn't pay me! <laughs> she... Well then... Um... Goes... And grabs... A, like, little box... Off of the ground and starts heading over to where Ling is. Ling, make a deck save. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a mouse. I don't have any stats. 11. Straight 11. roll. You're running and dodging, and she just takes it and goes, Boop! and you're just Come on. stuck underneath. Like a little wooden box. <laughs> Perhaps we should have just left. <laughs> that is the end. Well, there goes that plan. <clears throat> Kendall. Yeah. You are up next. You Great. are dancing. You kick the box, please. <laughs> no, wait, no, you can't. You're dancing. Can I dance to kick the box? <laughs> I use I it to you, my advantage? I think you have to you have to spend an action to get out of this. Probably. The uh, dancing creature must use all of its movement to dance without leaving its space. It has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws and attack rolls. The target okay. affected by the spell. Other creatures have advantage on attack rolls against it. And as an action, the dancing creature can make a wisdom saving throw to regain control. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, please, and thank you. Ay, ay, ay. Come on! What is with you? It's a five. Unfortunately, that does not succeed. Jesus. You're dancing away as Ling sits underneath a box. Great! That's all I could do. The other hag, disguised as a sun elf, that disguise shifts and goes back to that haggard form. A. Where is it? Uh. 
uh, hunched figure with one muscular and one withered arm. She has cat-like eyes, rust hair, rust red hair covers her head, back, and arms. Her sharp fangs cause her to slur when she speaks, and she hisses and screeches when threatened. This figure in front of you shifts into this creature and just slashes out at you, Renji. Come on, a bitch, what you got? I am... Does a 20 hit you? It does. Fuck. You take 10 points of slashing damage. Just 10 points of slashing damage as it ricks across your body. And she goes, please, let this be fun for me. And that is her turn. Guys, I'm in single digits. Ling, you are up. You're a mouse. You're in a box. Is there any sharp edges on the inside of this box? Make perception just a check. Plain wooden box. That's that's not bad. That's an eighteen on the dice. An eighteen on the die. Um, there actually are a couple of gnarly-looking rusty screws. Some rusty nails. Back up all the way to the other end of the box. Meow. <laughs> Charge the nail. <laughs> um. You know what? No, no. I'm not gonna make this have to be a roll because you are injuring yourself. Um. Roll a d4. One. D uh, a one on the d4. Mm -hmm. And m mice have one hit point, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you throw yourself at the the nail, and it slices, and you just boom. Kindle, you now want a box. the box just shatters, and Ling is underneath it, just crouched <clears throat> like. Ah, ah. <laughs> you are considered prone. Okay. 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 I will let out a, a, a nice big roar since I'm in my my vengeance evil form, mm -hmm. and uh, just go. Oh, shit, that was probably my action. Or was that, that been your action? Okay. Because that was basically an attack on yourself. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, bonus action. What do we have? Uh, I am going to use my bonus action to channel divinity and cast Vow of Enmity on the one not engaged with Reggie. Um, so I have... Oh, I have to move up within 10 feet of it. Sorry. So I'm going to move up within 10 feet of it. I hold that there. And then Vow of Enmity, so I get to bandage on it until it dies. Or a minute, whichever was short. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. All right. Everything. Next up, Renji. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, hold on. If I remember correctly, the son of uh, Hag is wounded. She is. She is. I'm sitting there going, did she even have a turn yet? But she did, because she slashed at you. Three, point, three points of necrotic. And okay. uh, can make the save. It's a constitution save? Yes. That's a 20. 
No longer wounded. Okay. Right. Um. <sighs> I'm using my digital rollers, to be fair. Fuck it. One slash at the hound, one slash at the um, hag. Gloria blows. Kick, kick. Okay. Uh, does 18 hit the hound? I have too many tabs. Yep. So that's one hit on the hound. Um, I'll roll for the kick on the hound as well, just to be sure. Uh, 13 on the die, plus 8, 21. That hits. Okay. On the hag, first hit. There's an 18 hit on them. Yep. Uh, second hit. Natural 20 on the second hit. Oh, shit. You going down swinging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the hound hits. Um, I'm actually thinking of the logistics here in the moment. So technically, Renji, uh, the hound is on Renji's left side. So, uh, so the hound actually gets the short sword. Um. Actually, you know what? He's nimble enough to do uh, one of each on each. So yeah, it would be like this, and then come back around. That, that, that. Yeah. So on the hound. Um, nine, twelve, twenty-one points of damage on the hound. No, so, sorry, hold on. So twenty-one plus. Uh, hold on. Twenty-nine points on the hound. Total. Total? Yep. Shit. On the it hag. Reeks out and is like seriously hurt. I can't believe I rolled max damage on the hag. For the blades, at least. And is that what you critted on, or was that a kick that you critted on? Um. Oh, so um. Hold on. Um. I think it was the second one that you hit the hag with. The so kick. that. So that would. Um, There's yeah, a the slice kick. and a kick to the to the blood. Yes. Group max damage on the kick. What the fuck? Okay. Do your calculations. So, max damage on the blades. Eleven. Thirteen. 24 points of damage. Okay. Plus the critical. Seventeen um, on the kick. So. Oh, she close. Oh, hold on. Thirteen. 13, uh, 11, 24, 24, plus 17, 40, yeah, 41 points of damage on the kick, uh, 41 uh, points of damage total, shit me, um, and that's my turn, I'm not moving. I'm not- I can't risk taking any attack of opportunities right now. The hag, as you stab out with, at the hag, you slice in and that uh, more uh, uh, haggard and limp looking arm goes flying off and you kick in the chest and you can feel the ribs smash underneath. She is hurting bad and the hellhound looks meekly over to the 
hag next to it and then looks meekly over to the still wood elf disguised hag and then just unleashes towards you. I need you to make a dex save. This is a monk's jam. Don't fail me now. Dex save? Yes. 22. That succeeds. So you take half damage. Unless you have evasion. Do I have it? I don't I, don't I, I don't think I have it at this level. I think that's a level 7. As in its moment of injury and terror, as dogs do freak out when backed into corners, it unleashes a 15 foot cone of fire. Bye, guys. You take 17 points of hit, 17 points of damage, halved. 17. Halved would be mm, eight or nine. 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 Bye, guys. Yeah. <clears throat> no. You watch as Renji, who has been pushing through the pain, the tunneling vision, gets hit with this cloud of fire and chokes on its smoke and just collapses, unconscious on the ground. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> Next up. No time for dying. Next up is the green hag, the one still disguised, who is watched Ling reappear in the oversized form and curses under her breath and calls. Calls out, Morty, come to me! Uh, for her hellhound to come to her side. Let's pass by me. And... Will mm. yeah. I need Oh, but wait, that's a thing. Crap. She's just going to... Um, uh, cast. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw lane. Don't fuck me, Stargate dies. That's, that's good. That's good. I think that's a 20. Plus... Four, yeah, 20. Yeah. yeah, it's a 60. Okay. No more mouse, please. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. No, I don't want that anymore. Don't want that anymore. No, thank you. I'm trying... Mimi's trying Thanks. to get me to break the self harm life. habit. I don't need to. I don't need this right now. I don't. Yo, I go deep. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So this does not say anything about half damage. So as she tries to whip out a vicious mockery, you manage to shrug off its effects and do not take that damage. Get yeah, mock this. <laughs> you can't tell me something I've already told myself. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me something I don't know. Something I don't know. All right. That is her turn. So we are up to Kindle. You are still dancing. Wisdom save! 
Please don't fuck me over. That's better. 14. Still not enough. It's better, but it's still not enough. You're still... I can't do shit. Dancing the night away. Hang on. You still have a bonus action. Damn it, I don't have inspiration. Is anybody else? I can't the do only thing I could does. Do, <laughs> the only thing I could do in a bonus action is summon a flame blade. Or do dragon's breath, but even then I would get disadvantage. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much you can do when you're under the auto's irresistible dance. Unfortunately. Hold on. I guess I could try Dragon's Breath. Since it's a part of my bonus actions. Where I can cast it. Um, so, the creature can use an action to exhale energy of their chosen type at a 15 foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a dexterity saving throw. Taking 3d6 damage of the chosen type. Uh, on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. Would that maybe work? <laughs> so, you, I think you'd be able to cast it on yourself to be able to use it next turn, but from what okay. you read, you have to use a, an action, like an attack, to actually do okay. the breath. I'll at least just cast it on myself. <sighs> That's all she wrote. Okay. Next up is the seriously injured hag. The hag looks down at Renji's burned body. And at her, and holding her chest looks around. Hmm. They're your problem now, dear sister. And blinks out of sight. All right. Next up is Ling. Well, I don't think I have any other choice but to use. Fuck, how much movement is that? 9, 10, 15, 20 to get up to Renji, and I'm going to dump uh, five points of healing. Into act actually, should I use a? No, I still have some of those. I'm. Yeah, I'm gonna dump five points of healing into them as an action. Play on hands. Okay. Oh. And oh, that's that's all I can do. All right, so you run up on Renji. Uh, uh, as Oof. the hag disappears from you. Yeah. And Did I get within melee distance of the dog? Yeah, you're Touching within range. melee distance of the dog. Okay, damn. I was going to run away. Uh, yours, it's, I count diagonal still as the five feet. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, Otherwise, it's just stupid. I it tried doing it the other way, and it was difficult, and it was stupid. Yep. All right, so, uh, and you, as you watch um, Renji gasp back, mm. eyes now awake and and spinning around the room. Pretty Still sure very, very, <laughs> you have five hit points now, Renji? 
yeah, it's still like you're barely hanging on. It's, your head is woozy. You're hoping the adrenaline's going to kick back in so that you can continue. You are feeling rough, buddy. Yep. And what makes it worse is that my favorite coat is fucking singed. Oh, I'm going to kill this dog. I'm going to kill Please him. Please do. Uh, you are up next, Renji. Oh, yep. wait, hang on. Quick, quick thing before that. Okay. Um, would another 10 feet of movement get me flanking with the dog and Renji? Could I have done that with the rest of my movement? I think I used 20 to get there. Um, sure. Sure. Because I count the diagonals. So, yeah, that's fine. Awesome sauce. Okay. That's so you basically good. like tap and run? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> tap and, and strafe. <laughs> tap and strafe. Tap and strafe. Get the fuck up. Right. It's all in the hips. Now, Renji, you're up or you're awake. I'm up. Um, I get up. Um, and I am fucking unleashing on this dog. Okay. Um, all attacks of advantage due to flanking. Yep. I like that. Uh, 18 on the die for the first one. Thank God for advantage because that was a natural one. <laughs> 16 on the die for the Hits. second. And for bonus action uh, kick. How about before we go any further, <laughs> we just roll the damage. Just to be sure. Um, okay, so for the two. Uh, for... Sixteen points of um, damage. How do you want to do this? It had exactly sixteen hit points left. Get in. Just looks at the dog and just like reverse grips both and just It is flipping its eyes between you having just popped up and its master who's just summoned it and flips back towards you as you flip to the blades and bring it down sinking deep into the neck of the hellhound which just shrieks out and just blood pouring from its mouth as it shudders and falls. Looks to the remaining hag. Sorry. Had to be put down. <laughs> she screams out towards you, having killed her beloved pet. Uh, I have 20 feet of movement. Yeah. I have 20 feet of movement um, left. Can I get within melee of the hag just to uh, do my final kick? Mm. She's exactly 20 feet away from you, according to my ruler tool. Awesome. That's why I love above VTT. Um, and I'm just kicking this bitch. Twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three is gonna hit, yeah. Uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage. Excuse me. Like, and, and I mean, like, a Sparta kick right in the solar plexus. Oh shit! As I wanna, you do. I want to knock the wind out of her. You kick her, and between her her grief and anger over the dog and the kick to the chest, she loses her concentration. I rolled an eight. Kendall, you are no longer under the effects of Otto's irresistible dance. Dear <laughs> God. Fucking <laughs> so sorry. No, you're I mean... not. You're the DM. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't lie to me. <laughs> I mean, a kick to the solar plexus is enough to get anyone's concentration to be like. 
As someone who's been kicked there. I fucking hate combat. I can't do shit. As someone who's been kicked there, it sucks. Mm hmm. Yep, I rolled low on her concentration saving throw. So, is that the end of your turn? That's me. It is her turn. You have just kicked her. You have just killed her dog. She lunges for you with her claws this time. Less as a slice and more of a strangle. How far is she from me? Does 21 hit? 15 feet. Yeah, she's only 15 feet from me. Okay. Which is perfect for your cone. He hits. Yeah. He hits. So she dives at you, the claws digging into the sides of your neck as she squeezes. You take nine points of piercing oh, damage. Dear God. Oh, my God. From my God. The claws. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> and you go <laughs> down, but she remains on top of Renji's unconscious body, choking him on Ooh. the ground. I got him. Okay. Kindle, whatever you do, just know I got him. Kindle. Yes, yeah, so I'm I am committing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my tactic, so. Is it my turn? It is your turn. You are up. Okay. I'm changing up my tactic. I'm no longer going to do Dragon's Breath. That's deactivated. Um dead under saved five hit points just for this situation <laughs> <laughs> she's going to go up to her grab her throat and cast shocking grasp if possible Okay. See if I do it. Please! It's, it's attack roll, right? Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's an 18 on the die, plus 6. <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> That's a 2d8 <laughs> of lightning damage. Give me a second. 7 points of shocking damage. So Kittle just freaking marches up, fucking fire in her eyes, grabs her by the throat, and shocks lightning from her fingers into this hag's neck. Amazing. Fuck yeah. You don't choke my friends. No one could choke Reggie she but me. Is <laughs> tunnel visioned, even though you've done that. She lurches back, and she's tunnel visioned and still pressing. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Um. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to use the restroom. Okay. Ling, you are up. I'm going to run up to Renji. And as much as I would like to take my battle axe and just golf swing at this bitch's head, I'm going to, I'm going to like dive down and grab his arms. <clears throat> give him five points of healing for my action. Fuck it. I Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action to hand him one of the healing potions that I have. Okay. And tell him to back the fuck up. And that's my turn. What are the five Are points you, of healing? You have five points of healing? Yes. 
there is a potion next to you for you to, to use. But she is on you, choking you. You cannot breathe as she is still just forcing. Sees the healing potion, looks up at her. With all of her strength, stands up. She's laying on top of you. She is sitting on top of you, choking you out. Because Kindle is also... Um, yeah, Kindle is uh, right, like, behind and had grabbed her by the, ne ha by the neck or head. Can I attack from prone? Technically. Will it still be with, with advantage? Because It would be with disadvantage normally because you're attacking from prone. So this would be a straight roll. All right. But I um, would say that it's like like you're basically like you're being choked. She's right there. You're combating. Kind of like in that moment, like grabs her um, arms, but then like is thinking about like getting a, but is going basically flail his blades about to get get the fuck off. Okay, so you're aiming for her arms. Uh, just flailing at her person. Okay. In general, so first attack. 17 on the die. Plus? 8. Okay. I'm trying to see, like, to how, like, what number, like, to actually, like, get her to, to, to flail back enough to actually, like, get off of you. Yeah. Uh, 17 plus 8. 16 total. 16 total for the second 16 one. 16 misses. Ooh, okay. 16 just misses. Dang. Hey. Alright, so... Me in the stomach. <clears throat> um... And, actually, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Um... Knee to the solar plexus and she's on top of me. Hit that same... Hit in that same spot again. With a knee. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. That is a... A 24 total. 24 hits. Roll your first damage. Your your damage with blades. Yep. Uh, seven points of slashing. Okay. It's not enough to get her to off, get her off as of yet. She, um, you, you're, you're slicing at her and she just comes right back in and, and claws at you. And the knee? You said that one was six? Uh... Sorry, um, seven. Was it seven? Se okay. Seven. <clears throat> okay. Um, and the knee. Max damage, 11. Bludgeoning. This time. So as she scrambles and gets back at your throat and begins choking you once again, you get enough leverage to knee her in the solar plexus, get your foot free, and kick her off. And she goes backwards. Kindle, you managed to step out of the way. So I'm actually going to move you over to the side a little bit. As she goes back, not prone, but off of you, Renji, um, you've got her kicked. You got kicked free. Okay. Um, and with my movement, I'm going to stand up. All right. And just that give would technically. Sorry, go ahead. I was uh, with. Like, as I get up, I'm just look at her. Oh. You fucked up now. Would that technically give me an opportunity attack since she moved out of my range? Or or was it because she was moved? She was forced out of, out of the range, which is different okay, okay. than moving out of the range. Hmm. That's always okay. a distinguish distinction that that gets missed a lot. I mean, if someone is, like, a spell is what moves them out of the range, that's still them physically moving, not being, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? But in this case, being kicked out of the range is not quite the same as trying to leave someone's range. On that note, I'm going to the toilet. Okay. The hag is up next. Uh, looking around 
frantically angry. At this point, her anger has taken over her flight or fight. And she is going to in the 4F's mode. The chef she's gonna choose. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to kill this bitch. <laughs> me popping you back up every turn is going to make her attack me and not you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll that's see. actually, that's where I'm, where I'm, my mind is going. I, I need, what do we do? Yeah, I mean, she's pissed. She wouldn't use that. She's pissed. She would use that. It's the last Become a, if I become a mouse again, do the thing in the text. <laughs> <laughs> Have squeaky boy. Yeah. <laughs> Make a con save for me, please. Bling. Oh, I'm scared of my dice. Come on, come on. I mm -mm, no. I rolled a three plus. Oh, but no. Con two five. Okay. She, what have I become? <laughs> in her anger, she shrieks out and points out to you, Lang. Mm -hmm. And you feel this necrotic, necrotic energy wash over, pouring through your throat and tearing you apart as you take 33 points of necrotic damage oh. as she casts Blight at 5th level. Oh. 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 oh! oh, what? Bruh! Jeez! <laughs> oh. Shit, she must be pissed. Wow. That spell is no joke. Jeez. And that is Ling immediately vomiting up black through his teeth and just oh. like, all of his red skin becomes mottled and gray. Just oh. they look like they're about to pass out. <sighs> yeah. What the fuck? Oh, me and Ling have the same amount of hit points left. Yeah. Uh, Kendall, you are up. Put this bitch in the ground. And she is right next to you. Yeah. Oh. Perfect! I <laughs> loved that so much! That's great! Let's see. Which one do I want to do? And uh, as she shrieked out with the, ble ble the blight, by the way, the illusory form completely faded and she showed her true... Uh, <clears throat> her true appearance. A... Um, shriveled and worn, dark green skin covered with bark and fungus, insects crawling across her and hide in a thick braid of white hair that curls around her shoulders like a serpent. Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Anyone who stares into her milky white, seemingly blind eyes see a reflection of their own face made decrepit and withered by <clears throat> age. Cast a firebolt, bitch. She is, like she, I said, she is also within five feet of you, so any ranged attacks would be uh, at disadvantage. Oh, okay. I thought that those rolls were shit. Never mind, I guess. It won't hit. Oh, what was I? It, it won't hit. It, okay. All right. 
I promise you it won't. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to try? No, because I can't do anything else. I'm sorry. Because they don't give fun <laughs> things to spellcasters. How come the barbarians and the fighters get to have multiple rounds of attacks and monks get to, but I can't cast two spells in one action? Fuck this! Yeah, it's really, really annoying. Uh, oh. No, you can't. I think you could quicken. Quicken? As a, as a sorcerer? Yeah, quicken spell. Oh, that allows you to cast uh, three points. Yeah. What's that? Man. A quicken spell is one of the things with your sorcery points. If you look under your class features, you should see your sorcery points and all that is involved with those. It's a type of meta magic. Sorcerers get cool spell stuff, but yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not melee combatants. <laughs> nope. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have Tides of Chaos. Yes, you do. Us. You do. You can re-roll. Tides of Chaos, I can re-roll with mm -hmm. advantage. So you activate your yeah. Tides of Chaos? Yeah. Okay, so it says uh, gain advantage on one attack roll. So oh, gonna, chaos. You have to come out of the tower or else I cannot count you. You know the rules. Thank you. Okay. Um... That's a 17 to hit. 17 just hits. It just hits. Oh. 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 What are you using? Please. I'm using is a freaking this, fire bolt. Is this a fire bolt? Yes, it is. Okay, you use Tides of Chaos for the first time? Yeah. What is your max damage? Um, It would be 20. If that's my max damage. I need you to roll a d20. Okay. Just a flat roll? Just a flat roll. Okay. That's a five. Oh no! So, oh, shit. as you use your Tides of Chaos for the first time, it would normally be the one, but it's your first time using it, so we're going by the, it takes, you know, you're within the one to five is what sets off mm -hmm. your Chaos. Yeah, 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 yeah. But <laughs> in doing so, you maximize the damage of that firebolt. I'm giving you that. So Sweet. you do the 20 points of damage, and she looks haggard. She's looking real rough. But I also need you to roll a percentile. Oh, Ooh, come on. Come on Yay! Yay! Here we go. You have to come out of the tower, or else I cannot count you. You know the rules. Okay. Uh, you have to come out of the tower. Thank you. Uh, that's a 38. <laughs> Roll oh, no. <laughs> oh no. Roll what? <laughs> what happened? Did I turn it into a plant? Did I turn into a shrubbery? <laughs> no. Did you say roll a d6? Roll a d6. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Five. No. <laughs> <laughs> you release the energy. It expands and compounds and just pummels into her. And you feel that surge of energy. And all of a sudden, Five little popping sounds appear around you all as flumps begin to appear in the what area. Flumps. <laughs> flumps? Flumps. That's great. What are flumps? As five flumps just randomly appear in the room, look around, see Kendall. And shriek in oh, what the terror. Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like jellyfish dudes. <laughs> the, the, the jellyfish dudes with eye stalks. <laughs> Says 1d6 plumps controlled by the DM appeared in unoccupied space within 60 feet of you and are frightened of you. <laughs> 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 
Horrible jellyfish ah, scream. Best types of chaos. <laughs> Magic surge ever. This is great. <laughs> is I love that, this. This is great. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Cool. Link, oh my god, you're my up cheeks next. hurt. Oh lord. Okay. Uh, that hurt real fucking bad. I'm going to yell out real loud. And as I'm running toward towards her, stop hurting my fucking friends. No. There's, oh my there's God, no way this fucking happened. Me. There's no way this fucking happened. Please, take take no. a goddamn picture. Take a goddamn picture. Oh no. No, not, not of me, of the dice. That is way too blurry because I'm shaking. There, that's that's visual enough. No, I don't want to add text to it. Just send to the group. <laughs> I think it's dead because I am I am smiting <laughs> on both of those. Is that natural twenty? Those two natural twenties. Two nice. natural twenties. What's your max damage? That's two natural oh. 20s. Like, come on. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so, bitch my first... The ground. <laughs> okay, so... Actions. You have two attacks, right? Yes. This machine plus... Are they... They're not fiends or undead, right? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna be... That would have been the second level. So, 24. Okay, so for the first maximum damage, uh, 20 slashing and 24 radiant. How do you want to do this? And then I just want to run up to her and, and just cleave her straight up the middle. Just Reeling stop burning my friends! From her burned across her face, you scream out, stop hurting my fucking friends. And the battle axe leaving sparks on the ground as you drag it up, you cleave right through her. And there's, you can see the moment of recognition in the face before it finally realizes that it has died and it just falls. We are out of combat. <gasps> Thank God. You're out of combat. And the flumps in the room fly screaming over into the corner where they gather in a heap of terrified floating jellyfish unaware as to why they are here <laughs> they just huddle on mass <laughs> in terror oh jesus <laughs> so, uh, so did i i killed her with my first attack right so i didn't expend my second spell Slot. You killed her with your first attack. Awesome. I get to keep my level one spell. <laughs> Renji, who is burned, beaten, is hurting, looks to everyone. Shall we find the lot? Shall we find the portal and go back home? Yes, please. I want to get out of here. Fuck that last I want hag. to rest. Oh, absolutely. Fuck them. I hate them. They can go die in a fire. 
I want to go back to the sauna. Oh, the sauna sounds amazing right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I'm all go. Come on. I'm come, still come standing on. over the hag. Just heavy, heavy breathing. Big, long, sharp teeth kind of. You can see the breath going hey, in and out. Ling. Darling. She'll, yes. she'll go over to Ling. Put a hand on my shoulder. You okay? It's all right. That hurt. I'm sure it did. Uh huh. You see him take a moment and just kind of. They slowly start to shrink back into their common form. Shall we? Shall we go? Don't. Don't forget the, the healing potion on the ground. Yes. Oh, are you sure you don't want that? Later. Maybe. We'll see what else we run into. Well, I think we should go back to the portal and just... We should probably just put that away. We'll go back to the portal, go back to Candlekeep. Rest. Let's go home. We'll heal. Let's we'll go look home. our wounds. Let's go home. As I walk uh, out with them, I'm going to keep an eye out for Jared. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you guys are just leaving this room? Yeah. Yeah. Are you walking out of the tower? Yep. yep. As you walk and head out of the tower, you see the um, um, drow standing at the opening. Actually, no, it wouldn't be the drow because the drow went somewhere else. Uh, the kobold still standing at the opening. Uh, got loud in there. Got real loud. You look bad. Two down. Really? One blinked out. You find the paintings? Too oh. busy. The paintings. You know what? I could take some time to see if I can find the paintings. I'm not. I'm not nearly as hurt. I. I will help you. I'm pretty good at finding things. Ling, you do what you I need to do. I'm just gonna sit, sit here. So there's, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone, well, gone. Two of them are. Now does that one over one there? One of them happened to escape. It points to the one like outside, and then just kind of like motions towards the inside peeks into, because you guys would have to step entirely out of the tower <clears throat> to have this yep. conversation, peeks in, goes into the room and goes, oh shit. Impressive. Do you know where the paintings are kept? I don't really come in this room. Maybe. Ah, uh, my thoughts. So, there's like the Mm, mm, up the stairs, maybe. Fine. All right. Well, up we go. Uh, sheath in his blades. Reggie just kind of um like follows Kindle a little bit behind because he is. They are limping. They are hurt. Yeah. Kindle will take the brunt force if anything happens. She didn't get hit. She was just made to dance like a fucking idiot. So. <laughs> just kind of like goes up the stairs. Ow. Ow. Oh. Hold on a second. I don't know. I don't think I do. But... Hey, uh. I Kindle? do not. Okay. Never mind. Yes. How bad is my coat singed? Ooh, I would like pat it <laughs> so the smoke stops. Oh, oh shit. Okay. It's bad, isn't it? 
it's a bit torn. Don't worry, we can get you another one. This is my favourite coat. I know. We'll find you a better one. <sighs> now let's find those paintings. And I'm going to burn them myself. I will happily help. Actually, I'm just gonna watch. I, I, it hurts to move. Did, 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 did before you, did you look out for the yes. fucking safe? Did you see? He's kind of an asshole. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh shit. Sure. Oh yes, Check. we oh, killed well, him. No, mind. I'm not there. Maybe I'm sure we're fine. Yeah, the uh, the other room to the right. You'll find his herbal's corpse there. His spear's also... up for grabs, by the way. Or, or wait, did Kindle do my thing? Shit. Oh wait, did did uh, Kindle take the spear? Uh, no. What thing did you want to do? You said you were going to go after gonna... Jared, right? Uh, yeah. I I was going to look for Jared as we were walking out. Uh, but I was referring to the the head thing that I wanted to do because yeah, I turned into a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna throw it at the hag at the at the hags. I mean, technically, it's in the room with the hags because it would have fallen as you went. <laughs> yep, this <laughs> is true. <laughs> oh, that must be terrifying! Yeah. It's like you as a mouse, then suddenly a he like a just disembodied like head just drops. Head. Mm -hmm. Um, as Which, you look around. By the way, around... check your messages, Sarah. <clears throat> okay, as you look around for Jared. By the way. Um, you don't see him at the moment. Like, in this, the rest of the courtyard, you don't see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told him to get the fuck away. I would hope not to see him right outside the door. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so, Kendall and Renji and Glitter are going upstairs. Yep. Nope. Alright. Kendall is going you. first, in case something happens. Yep. Uh, you all begin to go up the stairs. Like I said, this book is a little weird how it's laid out, so it just takes me a minute to get everywhere. Yeah, good. Uh, you open up to a dank scent fills the air in this well-used kitchen. Three tables stand in the room. One is covered with various vegetables and strange looking cuts of meats. A wood stove burns brightly against the far wall and a statue of a winged elf stands in the corner, its face carved to an open mouth smile. An elderly dwarf stands before the stove, his hands trembling as he tries to lift an empty pot or the heavy iron pot. Oh great, the kitchen. Uh, we're just going to take a look around and see if there's anything useful. Alright. Make a... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. Um... The, uh, uh, that's only a 15. 15? Yep. Alright. Uh, 15. Uh, you stare around. There doesn't seem to be much very useful here. You see the uh, older, like, really old, old-looking dwarf turns around and goes, Oh, well, and say, so I was expecting company. Two, two of the three hags are dead. Just leave. Really? And so is C. Yes. Oh. They're gone. Um, make a... History check, both of you. I will take that dirty 20. Yeah, dirty 20. 
Okay. Kendall, are you making one as well? Uh, history? Yep. Okay. Uh, 14. 14? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this, to you, Kendall, this just looks like, just like an older dwarf who's like, okay. Uh." Um, Renji, as you're looking at him, he's through the age and the wrinkles. There's a familiarity. Someone you've seen, but not met. Candle keep you used to work there, yes? Yes, yes, as of not long ago. Yeah, we were sent to find you. Oh! Well, oh boy. Really? Yes. Yes. Well, that's a relief. There is a portal back to Candlekeep. We're trying to find the paintings at this moment. So that the we paintings, can... the, the one... Yes, I had a painting done. Uh... Do you not know what's happened to you? Oh, I'm... I'm well aware. Uh, I was... hopeful to regain some of my youth that I had lost. Uh, uh, after my painting was created, I had second thoughts. Thought to restore myself as I was, but uh, going back on a hag's deal tends to have an opposing effect. <clears throat> well, we're going to destroy those paintings and reverse everything that's been done. I mean, Kindle, you get to set fire to things. Oh, yes, I love it. I certainly hope that works. I would really appreciate it. Mm. Are they... Do you know where they are? Mm, yes, been... yes, they're in a, up in the chambers, up... up. Mm. Uh, they're actually in... Uh, um, leads you through uh, a door on the side of the room where you see piles of straw and moth-eaten blankets set up as rough beds, broken furniture, and garbage scattered all around. In contrast to the squalor, four fine paintings hang along the curved outer wall. Each one is hauntingly beautiful, but strangely unnerving to look upon. They are posted quite high on these walls. Yes, those paintings are some of them at least. Some. Do you know oh. where... Oh, yeah, 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 on. go away. <laughs> he, he comes and whispers, you're making funny voices. <laughs> yes, that's... <laughs> it's kind of, it kind of comes with the job description. <laughs> like... <laughs> yep. Um... <laughs> This is some of the weather rest. If likely Up. upstairs and in the lair. All right. Um, hey, Kenna, do you want to go upstairs? And then I'll take care of these ones. Uh, all right, fine. Two birds, one stone, I suppose. And... Oh. Unless you care to join me, <laughs> she like <laughs> keeps going. You know what? It'll be a pleasure to see you, uh, watch you burn ship. 
That's the spirit. <laughs> what uh, points to the dwarf because I forget their name? Um, uh, Falthrax. Uh, Falthrax, was it? Yes, yes, that would be me. May I be blunt? Get the fuck out of here. That would be quite a good idea, yes. I can do that. Let's burn shit. Okay, where are the paintings? Hold Start the, searching um, around. Renji holds out like a um a wooden torch. Do you mind? Do I mind? Absolutely not. <laughs> Fire. Hold, hold on the torch. Cutley, you have all of the fun, can I? No, oh, well. <laughs> Does like a little <laughs> finger spark <laughs> to make it go whoosh just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> With torch in hand, let's be arsonist and burn down the paintings! Oh, I thought you'd never ask. She lights herself on fire. <laughs> yes. Like her As eyes you... start to glow and her hair like lifts up off her body. <laughs> As you go to light this painting on fire, you bring the torch to it, a lighting, preparing, and it doesn't burn. <clears throat> Pushes everybody back, Renji back. Fireball! <laughs> I don't care how big the room is. I can't afford She's got to try. Okay, if fire doesn't work, she'll try the bigger fire. <laughs> Just roll a d20. Okay. Oh, no. You're not in a state of panic, so you did not set off a... A uh, uh, magic search this time. And as the heat burn dies down in this chamber, the hay is still on fire. The paintings remain intact. I'm going to riot. <laughs> Can you pierce it? Stab it. Takes the uh, katana two-handed and tries to give one a swipe. You swipe through it and it just glides along the painting. No damage. Short Hold sword, which, which is a magic weapon. Tink, tink. Doesn't do anything. Like, it, it, is it making contact? It's making contact. As far as you can tell. Um, Kindle will cast Acid Splash. It's a cantrip. You cast Acid, acid Splash and throw it up? Nothing happens. Yeah. <sighs> make an Arcana check if you'd like. Uh, I'll make one just for shits and gigs. Twenty. Also twenty. Twenty. Wow. Uh, so you take the paintings down off of the wall and fully and thoroughly study them, and it takes a good like hour to go over to figure out what's going on with these paintings. Ooh. There's <laughs> Ling downstairs going, "Where the fuck are they?" <laughs> Upon oh examining the painting you realize that you might be able to use a strength check, but whatever barriers over this is going to cause issues if it, you do not succeed. Like you'll, you'll, and it has a, a whiplash effect if you don't succeed. There's also, based on something that 
that you, upon studying it, you learn that's the blood of a celestial splashed on this canvas might do the trick. While you've been studying all this, Ling, you're still outside. Yes. Where do you go? Uh, As soon as Kindle and Renji step out of sight, I get up and I actively look for Jared and the other hag. Okay. Searching around the grounds. Make perception check as you're traveling. Uh, can I guidance myself on that? Mm-hmm. Two plus one, uh, 19. 19. Uh, you see no trace of the third and final hag. Right. Okay. There were some possible footprints that might have been, but they lead into nothing. There's no idea as to where she might have gone. Okay. Jared, on the Makes other sense. hand, you find as you re-enter the door of the Temple of the Rest of the Lily and see him leaned up against the wall, arms crossed, and just stares at you as you enter. Care to explain what that was about? You probably hate me right now. But I honestly don't care anymore. I just want you to be safe. And if that means destroying anything that we had before, I'll accept that. But you need to know, I, I didn't know you were coming back and here I didn't know you were here until I saw you being pulled away by the hag how I was already here on a mission the fuck are you always in my way I don't know I finally it's not had intentional. a chance of something anything you and had no chances fucking here. got in the way. You had no chances here. Those were hags. They were going to steal your soul. They've done it before. They did it to other people. I don't care if you don't believe me, but that's what fucking happened. They could have helped. I could have had more. I could have had something better than... I've had nothing... You got everything. And I was stuck in a cell. Super. You found... I regret that. You found a family. You found someone to take care of you. You found a place where you can be happy. What the fuck? It found me. And if I wasn't already at Candle Keep, by the time I'm assuming you got out, I have no idea when you did. I kept asking, they wouldn't tell me. They wouldn't let me contact you. But I was in Candle Keep within the past two years. If I knew you were out, I would have come to find you and bring you with me. I very much regret that I didn't have that chance. Well, you know but I didn't, and here we are. It's okay. Stay out of your way. But I'm going to do my work. Fine. You know, I was curious when I went to Candlekeep and I saw that there really was 
so much that you got. I thought maybe I could find some of that. I'm done. I'm out. Bye, Lang. Bye. And he backs away and walks away. And he just kind of backs up against the wall. Slowly scoots down. Shrivels back into that little changeling that they were when they were a kid. Too small for any of their own. Too small for their emotions. He just cries. Do we need a break? <laughs> Are you sure? I do need to get to bed, however. I got you. All right, we will use the next session to wrap up the end of this chapter. Uh, but seeing as the end of this chapter is all just the treasure gathering and the final steps and all of that, uh, you can go ahead and level up. Yes. Hey. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Ah. I'm how, going to how end level are we supposed to be at now? Six. Six. Okay. Um, how good would you end, have said? Okay. I'm going to end the call here, or um, okay. end the recording here, so that you guys can have a chance to level up. I hope you guys have fun. Yes. Yeah. That was a great session. <laughs>